Just over one year ago, we moved into a brand new home. And since then, I've been not only moving devices over from my old smart home into my new smart home, but also adding automations that respond to our every move, but only when we want them to. Today, I can honestly say, I think I might be putting the final piece in the puzzle of our first level of our home, and it's right here in this box. So if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you probably know that I already have automations set up that turn on the lights when I walk into rooms and automations that open the curtains and the blinds downstairs at a certain time and also close them at a certain time. But there's been one missing piece to that puzzle. It's the windows behind me, which is why today we are unboxing and setting up the matter enabled smart shades from smart wings. Now I could not be more excited to get these set up right here in my dining room windows. First and foremost, special shout out and thank you to Smart Wings for sending these out for me to review. I've been eyeing these things for a while. I feel like they'll be perfect for these windows right here and I cannot wait to get them set up. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and get these things unboxed and set up. And then in the next video, I'll review them and give my opinions on what I love about them and some ways I think they could be improved. Now I'll go ahead and drop a link down in the description right below the like and subscribe buttons and any discount codes that they may have provided so you can go ahead and grab some for yourself. Now, with all that out of the way, let's dive in. All right, so we have three boxes here. Smart Wings sent me three shades. Uh, I got two that'll match for these windows right here and I got one for my studio. So I did get a remote with it. Um, and so you can see the remote is inside this box right here. I think the remote that I got is five channels. So this should work to control all three of them. I just have to change the channel. So let's go ahead and unbox the dining room shades since that's what we'll be installing today. Oh dang, this is intense. One. Oh, we got some. Got some stuff in here. So we got our instructions for the matter specific shades, installation tools. There's our remote. Some expansion screws. So that I'm thinking that's probably in case we don't have a stud and a charging cable. Now it's worth noting, these do have to be charged and you can get a solar panel for them. I opted to not get a solar panel. I'm not a big fan of sticking things to my walls or windows. So we'll just have to charge these, but they say it'll last, I think up to six months on a single charge. So we'll see. All right, and digging into our second one. Probably a better way to do this, but what are you gonna do? Same thing in here, protective, and another charging cable and another expansion screw. So that should get us started. Let's go ahead and open the gray. As you can see here, these are white. Um, and we'll unwrap that in a minute. This one is for my studio. And I got a little bit different setup with this one, but it's gray, so we'll go through that as well. And that one also comes with the expansion screw and a charging cable. All right, so we got all three of our shades here. I guess we should just unwrap them. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So like I said, I went with the white shades. I wanted to kind of match the aesthetic of our dining room and not be too, not pick too wild of a color. So we went pretty generic and you can see here it's labeled with the width and the height of my window. 
Now, before I ordered these, I did measure my windows, very specific sizing. They have an entire guide on their website that'll walk you through it. So make sure you are measuring them properly so that you get the right size. So we got the width and the height, motor type, fabric color, white, remote control. So I ordered one remote control and the room labeled dining room. Now, I think on the other one, okay, so it says number one and number two. That's on the remote. So and I think that that's probably gonna be the channel. Uh, so channel one, channel two. And here you have your Matter code. So with Matter, this is gonna allow it to work with any smart home platform that you use. And for me, I actually use pretty much all three of the major ones plus home assistant. So I have four different smart home platforms that I use for different reasons. So Matter was really important to me so I can get these in each of them. Cause I think they have, I think they have HomeKit and Alexa and maybe Google, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, beautiful. All right. Those are really pretty. Let's do our studio rock gray. And I think on this one, I did a little bit different. I didn't get the, this cover here. Um, I think I just did a standard shade, no cover on it. And that's because I already have a curtain in my studio. Um, and I just don't mind the look of this for my personal setup. This is probably remote channel number three, studio, matter code. Yeah, cool. This next step is to dive into our instructions so that we don't mess anything up. Looks like I've got a few books. I've got the matter getting started guide, remote programming guide, quick start guide, quick installation guide. So I got some, I got some homework to do here. So quick installation guide. All right. So here's what we have. We got the fabric insert cassette and then I have the deco bar on my studio ones. I did inside mount on these. So that's will that will be our installation method. So it tells me page eight. All right. So here's our inside mount instructions. All right, so before I can get started on this part, I'm gonna need to remove the existing blinds. So that's probably gonna be a process. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we have the old blinds down, it's time to read the instructions and install the new blinds. All right, so I need to get a pencil and it wants me to align. How am I supposed to do that? I wish they would put words in here. I wish they would give, I wish they would give written instructions here because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Is this supposed to come off? Maybe we'll go to preparation. Let's start at preparation. Okay. Brackets. Okay, the brackets are already on it though. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in the installation toolbox. All right, we got some gloves, a pencil, and a level. Okay, cool. Feels like these are supposed to come off. Let's make sure they fit. All right, they fit. That's a good sign. Now I gotta figure out how to get these brackets off so I can put them up. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a little pinch to release thing, maybe. So there's depth. Oh, 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 okay. So you wanna push that towards that maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so that's how you gotta do it. So you have to push that in. There's a little spring mechanism in there. See if it'll focus on that. 
the spring mechanism, you have to push it in. All right. All right, now I know how to take that off. Let's go back to our instructions. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe it wants me to hold this up here where I want them to be and mark the front. That just seems questionable. All right, so now that I can see, I'm just gonna mark a line where that bracket is. Cool, 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 all right. We got our lines. And let's go to the step B2, where it tells me how to remove my brackets. All right, removed my brackets. Now, I'm gonna put them on the, i put them in the window. So each kit comes with four screws and anchors. These anchors are in case you don't have a stud right there, which we're gonna have to find out with a screw first. Grabbing the bracket, and we're actually going to line up with the lines that we just made and mark our holes. Now I would highly suggest pilot holes before you just start putting screws in. And this is gonna do one of two things. This is gonna tell us if we have a stud there and it's also gonna make a hole, makes it easier for this screw to go in. We got a stud. Now that we got our pilot holes, we're gonna put our brackets up. Bracket one. Surely it ain't that easy, right? Now it just says to clip them in. No way. No way. Is that easy? Love that. All right, let's go do our second window. Sometimes I like to put my pencil right here. It makes me feel like a legit uh, construction guy. I'm gonna try this one without pilot holes, just cause why not, YOLO. Pilot holes. Install the remote holder. I'm probably not gonna install a remote holder to my wall. Probably just going to set it to the side where we will lose it. And that's it, they're up. So now we need to move over to matter getting started. Yep, so you need an Apple Home Hub or a Google Home Hub. That's how you're gonna get matter. It's gonna be your border router or you can do it on Amazon Alexa or a Samsung SmartThings. You got options with matter. That's what I love about it. All right, network pairing. So, so it says to press and hold the P1 button on the motor head for six seconds until the motor jogs twice then release the button. When the red LED light is on, it indicates you have entered the pairing mode. All right, so the number one thing I didn't realize is that that pairing code's on top of the shades. So we're gonna have to take these down in order to scan that pairing code. Charging port right there. And that's the program button. So if I push and hold it, one, two, let go, and it flashes. And now we're pairing. Adding to home. 
All right, and we have it in our home. Let's add it to our kitchen. We're gonna call this shade, shade one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group these together so I can open them and close them at the same time. So this is shade one, done. All right, so let's test this. So in our kitchen, shade one, and we're gonna close it. Close it to 23% open. Let's see where that gets to. Love it. Let's do the second one. It probably would have taken half the time if I wasn't filming this. Very simple. I'm very impressed by how easily they were to um, install and really excited about how quickly that happens. So it's easy. We'll just go in and move that to the kitchen. You can see here it shows the battery level as well, which is really nice. So I could so I could potentially actually set up an automation to alert me or turn a light on, a smart bulb to a certain color uh, if these batteries get to a certain level. So I'll probably do that just so I know. What we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna tap my shade two, close, look at that. And then I'm gonna put my curtains back up before my wife kills me. All right, so the last step is to set up the remote. In the box for the remote, you get the remote, batteries, mounting screws if you want to mount it to your wall, and on the remote, you have the mount itself. I have no idea what my shot looks like right now, so hopefully you can see me. Battery one, battery two. That's so cool. So you got lights for the channel. So you got channel, I'm assuming that's one, two, three, four, five, or all. Let's see what all does. You got an up arrow, a down arrow, and a stop arrow. That's fire. I just realized though, if we have it set to all, that's gonna do the shade in my office too. So we're probably not gonna do that. We'll go one and two. But that doesn't matter because now we're gonna make these a group in HomeKit. So if I go into the settings, accessory settings, group with other accessories, shade one, done. We're gonna name that shades, done. Now it's a group. Hey Siri, close the kitchen shades. Beautiful. All right, and so that's it. We just unboxed and installed the Smartwing shades. Very simple, could not have been more easy. Before you go, here's the full review of the Smartwing shades. Make sure you check that out and I'll see you in the next one.